Hello and welcome in another devlog of Project Melo. If it's the first time that you see Project Melo, I really suggest you to look at our devlog playlist. The link is in the description. This devlog won't be like the past devlog. If you look at the bottom left of the video, you will see that we almost reached a thousand subscriber. And we want to thank you for your interest in the project. To do so, in this episode, I will announce an art contest. I will also show you some project on the town assets and answer some questions I had from the last devlog video. So yeah, if you always wanted to, to make some art for a game and see people interact with it and having fun with what you made, this contest is for you. The challenge is to make a cute 3D creature that will fit in our world. For inspiration, you can look at Run Your Rock Online creature or even Pokemon. So now you're probably wondering, is there a price or the winner will gain something special out of it? The answer is yes. The winner will have his creature implemented in the game. He will also get a special role on Discord and of course have his name in the credit of the game. So you are free to animate it if you feel like it but it's not mandatory. Uh, what we ask you is a simple picture of it and an FBX of the file. So if we're gonna implement your uh, creature in the game, we need the 3D uh, asset to make it happen. So if you, if you want to be part of that contest, you have to be in the Discord server to submit your art. You will, you will have a little bit less than two weeks to complete your submission. So we hope to see a lot of people participating and having fun and sharing their art. When the contest will be over, we will choose the top five and let you vote for the final winner. So as you can see, Project Melo is not only an MMO, it's also a big community that share the same interest. Now let me show you the progress of the town. As you can see, uh, I worked on the town entrance and the walls. I really like the size of it. I think that amplifies the fantasy of the world. To make things clear, what you see about the town is only placeholder blocking. That's the reason why most of the assets have the grid, grid texture. So there's a lot more work to be done. When the player entered the town, I wanted to have a nice looking hall that guide the player into a fountain which represents the center of the town. A little bit higher, after climbing the stairs, you will see the entrance of the castle. For now, it won't be accessible, but I will give more information about the role of the castle in a future video. I also made a stone floor texture that you can see here. Uh, to make my textures, I'm using the software Substance Designer, which is a more technical way of making texture. It allowed me to found a good recipe, a template, and generate variation of it really fast. You can see here, for example, that when I feed my recipe with a different shape, the texture procedurally adapts itself. Pretty cool, eh? So, it's about it for that. Uh, now it's time to answer some the, of the question I received from the viewers uh, of the last video. Um, the first question is from Holmes, and he's asking, uh, is this your first game? Um, as an indie dev, uh, I can say yes. Uh, I did a lot of prototype before uh, by myself, but uh, as a professional game developer, no. Uh, I, I worked a lot on uh, AAA title before in big companies as a technical artist. Uh, the next question is from Kenorta and he's asking how long have you developed the game and who does the art and did you go to school for game dev? Uh, we started developing the game five months ago and I'm the one who's making the art and I'm, I'm also making a lot of other things. Um, about the school question, yes, I did uh, the Ubisoft school six years ago. The next question is from uh, Monsieur Delire, and he's asking, what's your vision for the game map in terms of size, environment variation, dungeon, etc.? Um, 
to answer that question, it's very early to start giving information about the map size and the environment uh, variation since we are, we are still developing the core of the game. But for the first play session, we are currently planning. Uh, we want to have a small outdoor area with a section of a town available. So we plan on making dungeon as well, but uh, like the map size, we will give more information about that as soon as we can. The next question is from Samuel, and he is asking, um, you, have, you have discussed the art direction of the game in the past, and, you sources, and the source of your inspiration. Uh, er everything looked amazing, and I, wanted, I wanted to ask if, you're, if you created your own shader or found them into the asset store. I think it's a really good question. Um, I bought on the asset store two of the shaders that I'm using. Uh, one is for the grass, it gives me uh, more flexibility on the blend with the terrain and it have a uh, built-in uh, wind effect uh, in the shader, so uh, yeah, it's pretty useful. The second shader is the tune shader, so I may not stick with that shader uh, later on, but for now as a placeholder shader it really helps, uh, it gives me that tune uh, that kind of cartoony uh, shading with the lighting and it really helped. And finally, the last question is from Marcus and he's asking how many people are working on your game and what game uh, are you inspired by? So we are currently uh, only two that are working on the game. Um, I'm doing all the client side stuff like art, gameplay mechanic and assets. And my friend Titi Gaskin is working on the server and database. Uh, we may grow the team soon uh, for some specific roles that we are fundament that are fundamental to expand the development. Um, yeah, but about the inspiration, you can you can see plenty of them uh, in the first two devlogs. So it's about it for that devlog. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in the project, and if you want to follow more closely the development and share with us your ideas, you can join the Discord server. The link is in the description below. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next devlog.